honest opinion of dating in NYC, New York City. Where I live is actually Bayside, Queens. So, honest opinion of me, Bayside, Queens. All right. So, I've been single for about a year now. And been been dating a few girls here and there, you know. And, yeah, I mean, it's not fun. I'm telling you right now, it's not fun. A lot of these girls are just for the streets. And the quality woman is just very poor out here. Not gonna lie. It's not a, a sliver of loyal loyalty out here. Like women just talk to as many guys as they want to out here, bro. That's just how it is. It's crazy. Like even good looking guys, they have a rough. You know? You gotta be good looking and successful. <laughs> successful people, they they got it. You know, successful people usually got it good. But um yeah, for for the most part, like Women out here, they they really like uh they just looking for somebody to take care of them, someone they got a good, and that's how it really is out here. Yo. A lot of gold digging bitches, and it's tough, bro, because everything out here is mad expensive. And when you take a girl on a date, at a bare minimum, you spend like like at a, on a cheap date, it's like twenty bucks, bare minimum. You know, that's a cheap date probably figure something out but if you're trying to like smash you gotta you gotta go a little bit further than 20 bucks you know like that that's like you're really pushing it especially if it's like a high quality girl you gotta spend at least like a hundred two hundred dollars to be chilling with a girl and trying to expect to smash that's a that's something you gotta keep in mind right so you need to get your bread up and that's like one of the main things in dating in New York City bro like all these girls, they, they they want experiences. You know what I'm saying? They want to go out, see these things, and do do stuff, and have fun. It's a, uh, it's the appeal of New York City. You know, there's like so much to, so many attractions and so many things to do, so many restaurants to eat at. It's like you really never run out of things to do. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I feel like it's just, it's just a matter of being creative with uh, with your dating options. Cause what I usually do is I have a go-to place. I like going to like dessert spots. I like taking girls on good dessert days. That's like one of the, one of my recommendations for you guys if you are trying to date in New York City. Desserts usually not too expensive. You don't gotta go crazy, and you can link up with them after dinner. So they, they'll have their own dinner, mind their own business. They link up with them with dessert, and it's usually a good vibe. You know, get something sweet. Y'all can like share the dish or like smoothies or something it's pretty cute pretty cute and then you guys can go for like a walk talk get to know each other this is like a good first date you know like especially if you don't know the girl you never talk to her you don't really text her right i really recommend you don't text any girls that you ever meet like online or whatever like if you meet match with a girl like on bumble tinder hinge whatever don't text them too much like the whole point of texting is to be arranging a date you know what I'm saying? Just to arrange a date so you guys can hang out in person. Because you can't you can't have sex over the phone. <laughs> like, that's, that's not how that shit works. All right. But, um, yeah, honestly, dating is tough because it's tough to find a girl that, like, really fucks with you, you know? Like, a lot of girls just, like, they got their own thing going on. And they have a lot on their plate for some reason. So most of these girls are so busy. They got so many career goals, and <laughs> I'm all for it. I love it, <laughs> but it's tough out here, you know, because everyone is trying to get this bread. Everyone's trying to get this paper and like hustle. So it's tough. It's tough. I was dating this one girl, and she was like, she was cool for a minute. Like we went out two dates, and smashed on the second, and she just disappeared. After that, she disappeared. I don't know if it was the hair, cause I got a haircut. And then she disappeared right off my haircut. Like, she she literally... She said it looked good, but all of a sudden she disappeared. I'm like, huh. I hope she's all right. Because, like, she, like, disappeared, disappeared. Not, like, kind of disappeared. Like, it's kind of, it kind of got me worried. Like, she got kidnapped type shit. Like, it might be bad. I don't know. Well, I, I don't want to... I don't want to say anything. Knock on wood, you know. Not, I don't want to say anything crazy, but... She, I'm, I'm a little worried. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, a little worried. Um. Yeah, and... Before that, I dated another girl. Not really. It wasn't really dating. Just like hookups. And that's the only thing that's like 
really keeping me together because I'm like single for the most part like I'm like I have nobody you know I have no family living with me I got no roommates my friends barely chill really I mean I still hang out with my boys sometimes but you know dating is tough right now dating is really tough in New York City I'm not gonna lie especially in Queens the quality bro the women just want high quality men and you just gotta step up you know what I'm saying either you gotta step up or step out step out to the side <laughs> nah but like you, there, there's a there, you just have to have a roster you know what I'm saying like cause the thing is women don't like to be chased out here it's weird like every girl I've ever met in New York they don't like to be chased like they like to chase you you know if that makes sense it's weird like if she don't like you she don't like you but if she like you she'll she'll like she'll like try to fuck with you you know she'll try to like link up and try to hang out and shit like but if she don't fuck with you she's not gonna fuck with you that's that's that and it's very like clear as day usually if you go on one date and she she dubs you that's a clear sign like oh she's not really jacking it you know really not jacking it especially if you made a move too fast I learned from my mistakes bro like can't be making moves too fast but it is what it is you gotta live with the consequences sometimes <laughs> nah I'm kidding but like um, for the most part like just be patient right if you're dating a girl in New York City you just gotta play the waiting game be patient cause you know you gotta know there's other dudes on that roster for her too that's how it is over here Bo- both parties got rosters cause they have to I don't know why that's just it's just the toxic reality that we live in bro and this is my honest opinion like I really think that girls be doing this too like I know guys been doing it but like this is like this is common for girls too like I know this is happening for the most part you you get lucky sometimes like you meet a girl that actually wants to settle down and be like girlfriend you get really lucky sometimes I got lucky in my last relationship but haven't haven't had success or luck recently so yeah it's tough I hope you guys do enjoy this video because this is not scripted it's just my honest opinion and just like my feedback some some tips about dating over here I recommend that you get too caught up on one girl especially if you're a man or if you're if you're a female don't get caught up on one man too because he probably cheating too honestly I don't know any relationship that's like really honest in your city bro. like it's crazy like I remember even my like even my ex girl like she has a new man, but she's still linked up to go smoke with me. I'm like, bro, that still counts as cheating technically. Like you're chilling with another dude, and a, and your ex boyfriend at that, alone. You know that's kind of it's kind of wild. And you're indirectly kissing. Like you're technically indirectly kissing because you're sharing the joint. It's weird. That's I, I'm gonna just say that. That's kind of weird. That uh, and, and I just let it go. Whatever. I I never pushed on. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> I just put that out there. Because I do remember this happening. And I was like, oh, shit. Because I, I linked up with her when I broke up with my ex. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, I'm surprised she even wanted to link up. Because <laughs> she has a man's. <laughs> and that's how it is in New York, bro. There's no loyalty, bro. Girls would just do whatever the fuck they want, bro. If they feel like it. If they're bored. If the man's not giving them attention. They're just going to do whatever they want. Like, she, she should not have met up with me. I would have been mad upset if I found out my girl was chilling with my ex her ex-boyfriend alone at the park smoking weed like that's wild i don't know that's just me that's just, whatever moving on i hope he doesn't see this but moving on um just some some finishing thoughts basically is try your best not to spend too much money bro like if you can save your bread but don't look like a broke brokey you know you still gotta you still gotta treat the girl out but don't Spend your money wisely. You know what I'm saying? I, I do regret wasting money because there's times where I, I try to, like, you know, pay for things and it, it doesn't work out, bro. It just doesn't work out. So don't do that. Don't be like me. Don't be an idiot. I don't pay for, like, crazy things. Like, I remember one, there's this one girl I'm working on. She, she I'm making progress with her. We'll, we'll see. But for her, like, she, she, she didn't give anything up. But, well, we did make out, but. You know, I, I spent maybe like 15 bucks so far. Maybe a little bit more if we count the weed. Yeah, that's about it, right? 
it's not it's not crazy right so it's, it's still I, I consider that as an L because nothing really happened besides kissing I don't really like that you know kissing is cool but it's like it's mad it's mad boring <laughs> I'm trying to like really get up in the guts you feel me <laughs> I mean I'm, not, I'm just being honest you know that's really what it is for men it's just like that's all we look for but you know I would I wouldn't mind settling down for like two or three girls, you know. I might I might settle down eventually. Like there was this video I saw today that made made me want to settle down, and not even date at all. Cause this is this is like a, a little bit of a controversial video. I'm not gonna hold you. This dude he goes to his boy's house and his boy's house um, is like a nice house where he opens a door and like. A, a, a girl opens it opens it and it's like she's super fine super thick and he's like god damn you know and then he, he, he goes into he goes inside the house and there's another girl in the kitchen cooking up the food super baddie as well like and then another girl pops out of the shower all of a sudden like when the door the, the shower door opens she pops out like naked and then he's like god damn and then he's like yo let me get one of these he's like nah these are all mine and he's like yo the, all three of them is yours like he got three wives. He's like, yeah. He, he, he's like, yo, thank Eric Adams because he got three wives. He got them all tested for STDs and then freaking brought them to his crib. Now they cook, clean, and have sex with him. See, that, that I'm, I'm honestly considering doing that. Honestly, because that's all I really need. You know, a loyal girl that will cook, clean, and have sex with me. That's it. Like, I... I I'm not asking for too much. Is, is am I? <laughs> I don't know. I might have to pull up to to Roosevelt real quick because when I seen that video, I was like, "Bro, I have a weakness for Latinas." <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie, bro. I have some, I have a weakness for Latinas. All right, so I might I might have to pull up one day. Um, one more thing that I I will end up end the video with is stay safe, fellas. All right, dating in New York City is tough. But you gotta make sure you stay clean, all right. When you when you do eventually get the poom poom, don't don't be like raw dogging it. If you if you if you have a if you have a gut feeling that she's not clean, bro, wrap it up. If you if you know for a fact she's clean, then I right, you know go raw doggy because I love raw dogging, all right. I don't blame you, but wrap that shit up, bro. If she don't look clean, she seems like a bat. She gave it up way too easy. Nah, bro, wrap it up. Okay, if she gave it up way too easy, wrap it up, all right? Like, like if you didn't spend a single dollar on her, or, or like, it, it seemed like way too good to be true, wrap it up, please, bro. Just, just for me, bro. Not, not, like, just trust, bro. Trust, all right? I, I've never gotten one because I follow this one rule, all right? Like, you got to trust your guts, bro. Because if you're going to be in them guts, you got to be clean, bro. You got to be clean. For her sake and your sake, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always ask, yo, you clean? Like, if I'm about to raw dog, I, you about to be clean. But I always got condoms, too, on deck, just in case. But, like, I always rather be fucking with a clean bitch. Never fucking dirty hoes. All right? That's it. That's my last piece of advice. All right? And my honest opinion of dating in NYC. Bayside Queens. You heard? All right. That's it for the end of the video. Comment down below what your dating experience has been like. All right, let me know, cause I want to know what's what's going on. Are you living in New York City? If you are, yo, let me know what bars are popping off. I'll pull up. We can get lit together. Go pick up some girls. We, I'm with that. And yeah, drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, bro. Uh, I'll see you the next one. Peace out.